There's some man over here, Gus. All right, pull the dogs. You don't approve of our sport, I fear. It's not my idea of sport. It's my idea of murder. Ah, uh, yes. It's all right, Gus. We go on down to the marquee as soon as this drive is over. Aye, sir. Let the gentleman go, Charlie. You've caught us just at the end of our murderous morning. We're about to join the rest of our party for an ill-earned luncheon. Tell me, are you from these parts? I don't think I've ever met you before. My own work. The rights of animals. <clears throat> the vindication of the doctrine of universal kinship. Oh, yes. Well, these pheasants, of course, wouldn't have been here at all if we hadn't have bred them, hatched them, reared them. One could argue that we give them life, and then after a bit we take it away from them again, abrogating to us all somewhat godlike powers, I admit, but don't let's be legalistic about it. This is a very well-produced pamphlet. Where do you get a thing like this printed? Is it expensive? You don't mind my asking you. Oh, no, not at all. I know a very good printer at Dorking, just near where I live. An excellent man of uh, anarchistic views. He gives me very good rates. Our special terms. Mm. He wouldn't give me such good ones, I suppose. Are you a pamphleteer too, sir? Well, I was thinking of uh, making a sort of foray in that direction. A polemic, yes. would you say? Yes, I think that's the right word. Would you call it a diatribe? Yes, I could call it a diatribe, Mr. Cardew. The, the ruin of rural England, a diatribe. Precisely. I don't think we should continue our discussion here. We'll postpone it somewhat. Uh, my fellow murderers are a rather hot-blooded lot. My card. Ah. Hindhead. How charming. Well, we'll certainly keep in touch, and uh, you will broach the matter with your printer friend. Oh, we'll send you an estimate without fail, sir. Good day to you. And I bid you good day, sir. Uh -huh. I suppose you really do have to have him up in front of the bench, do you? He had to get back to Hindhead. Pretty place, Hindhead. 